3.3, number 22. Are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So we're given two lines here, straight line equations. And there's a couple things to remember. First of all, parallel lines have equal slope. There will be identical slopes if they're parallel. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. For example, uh, two-thirds and negative, flip over the fraction, make the reciprocal, negative three-halves. Whoops, there you go. And that idea kind of makes sense because if you think about parallel lines, let's make those right over here. If I had two parallel lines on a graph, they might go something like this. They have equal slopes. If I had two perpendicular lines, then they might go something like that, and then another one coming at a 90 degree angle, like that. Alright, so these would be negative reciprocal. For a perpendicular line, this would be for parallel lines. All right, so if, if this slope was kind of shallow and positive, this one's going to be steep and negative. All right, so the reciprocal means shallow goes to steep, or a steep would turn into a shallow, and then positive goes to negative, takes care of the change of sign. All right, so that is what we want to look for when we're trying to decide if we have parallel or perpendicular. Find the slope for each equation. Are the slopes equal? If yes, you've got parallel lines. Are the slopes negative reciprocals? If yes, you have perpendicular lines. If neither is true, then you have neither case. You just have two lines intersecting. So let's take a look at the two equations and solve for the slope in each one. Solve for slopes and compare the slopes. So for the first equation, we have 3x plus 2y equals 6. And remember, to solve for the slope, we want to get it into y equals mx plus b format. Slope intercept form and identify what is the slope. So that means we need to get y all alone on the left. So we need this 3x term to go away. Take away 3x on both sides. That's gone. I get 2y equals... I'm going to keep the x term first, negative 3x plus 6. I could put it to the right, but I know I want to compare it to this equation, so I might as well put it on the left side. It'll look more similar to the slope-intercept equation. Divide by 2, because we don't want the 2 to be attached to the y. That means everybody on the right side, every term, gets divided by 2. 2 goes away. y equals minus 3 halves x plus 3. So our first slope, slope number 1, is negative 3 halves. Alright, so let's just keep that one in mind. We're going to compare it to slope number 2. Alright, the second equation is 2x take away 3y equals 2. Again, we want to isolate y, so let's start by taking away 2x on both sides. That leaves me with negative 3y equals minus 2x plus 2. Divide by minus 3. Every term on the right gets divided by negative 3. That's gone. I'm left with y equals minus minus is plus, so I have 2 thirds x take away 2 thirds. That's the piece I'm interested in. The coefficient of x is the slope. Slope number 2 equals two-thirds. And now what we do is compare the two slopes. We had minus three-halves and two-thirds. 
these are our negative reciprocals of each other. 3 over 2, flip it as 2 thirds, and they're opposite signs. Negative reciprocal Therefore, they are perpendicular lines. And that would be our answer.